Flashback. I accidentally cut my hair while taking out this little faux lock and I'm really upset with myself for doing this. Hello, hello. My name is Akos and welcome to my channel, Akos, where you at? I wanted to do a recap video of all of the different hairstyles that I've had since February of 2020 up until December 2020 because in February was the last time that I got my hair silk pressed and I got my hair professionally done. Since then, I've basically just done it myself. I was very, very, very surprised to see all of the growth. This video will just be a recap of all of the different hairstyles that I've done since February up until December. Being at home this year definitely forced me to take care of my own hair and not have to depend on anyone else to do it and I actually learned how to do a lot of different things with my hair too. I had a few protective styles from the half up half down look that was my favorite like that was my absolute favorite hairstyle but yeah make sure you let me know which one was your favorite hairstyle at the end of this video but for protective styles I did the half up half down with uh, like the crochet curly hair in the back. Um, I also did like just the two um, feed in braids I think that's what they're called <laughs> and then I did faux locks and I did my own sew-in y'all like I learned how to do a sew-in that's like a skill that I never thought I would learn how to do but now I know how to do myself I still might go to professionals from time to time but I know if I want like a uh, something quick well it wasn't quick it took me like seven hours to figure this out <laughs> but if there's a time that I feel like I just don't want to pay or when I move and I don't really know anyone in the area yet at least I know I now have that skill set I wanted to do this recap video mainly mainly for myself to be honest I just wanted to see how much my hair had grown and looking through all of my videos and then finally seeing the length in December made me realize like leave your hair alone leave it alone for me the number one reason why I don't claim to be a natural hair youtuber and make my channel fully just based on natural hair is because I really just I don't want to go bald y'all <laughs> I don't want to go bald trying to do all of these trends and all of these hairstyles that we see on YouTube and trying to provide content so yeah so for 10 months I basically did maybe four to five protective hairstyles and then in between those protective hairstyles I would do the twist outs and the flat twist that I would do the tutorials for my YouTube channel like the videos you've seen earlier on in this video if you don't get anything out of this video I think my main message is keep it simple wash and I don't mean co-wash that's not cleaning your hair wash your damn hair <laughs> I'm sorry wash your hair condition your hair keep it moisturized you really don't need that much product and if you have 4c tight hair like mine maybe stretching your hair once in a while might actually be good for you and keeping it stretched maybe keeping it in protective styles might actually be good for you I know for me personally it was because when it's not stretched out that's when I lose more hair and now the results of the silk press y'all I was blown away my hair felt so thick and I love that my hair is thick so in 2021 I will be doing the same thing make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you can come along on this journey with me and then in December of 2021 I will do another silk press just to see where my hair is at that point but until then I will be doing protective styles and maybe once in a while I will record and do different natural hairstyles for y'all I look the f good okay <laughs> 
I'm gonna just say it. Uh, rise and shine, gotta get the day started, sun beaming in my face as the blessings keep falling.